If you went to Snow Valley this season, you probably noticed some changes. Last season, they were purchased by Big Bear or Snow Summit, whichever you want to call it. So, I went back to Snow Valley wondering, is this going to be good or bad? And to me, it was immediately a good thing. This is the lower jump line, which used to have very big, for me, intimidating gaps. They were jumps I knew I could hit, but those gaps put them out of range for me. Filling those in made it a lot more approachable. And those aren't the only changes. Right. Throughout the park, you can see that some of the berms have been built up. They're a little bigger, a little steeper, and some of them have even been fortified with pavers. So the changes on the trail are evident. And in most cases are really good. This next section at the bottom of Crazy Horse is a roller coaster. It became one of my favorite sections in the park. I wanted to ride it over and over. And before it was kind of eh. Yeah. So my hope for Snow Valley moving forward is that it stays Snow Valley. It's a lot different than Summit, and I think that's a really good thing to have a third bike park in the area. That's a little bit different. I like that it's raw, I like that it's not as groomed, that it's not as big, and I really hope it stays that way. So far, it has. So, if you did not get out to Snow Valley during this last season, it's not too late. Closing day is this weekend. If you haven't made it and you have the opportunity to go, I highly recommend it. The park is super fun. They have signs everywhere, which is really nice. And all of the things that have been changed so far, in my opinion, have been changed for the better. That said, you'll still go see a lot of the same trails and same features that it had before. And if that's what you're looking for, you will not be disappointed. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer. Thanks for hitting the trails with me today, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.